simulating and testing target link code, model in the loop, and software in the loop simulation. This video will show the following information. MIL simulation, integrated data logging, SIL simulation, plotting simulation results, and signal analysis. If you want to use target link to perform a model in the loop simulation, where the Simulink behavior of the controller model is simulated on the host PC, you should first ensure that the corresponding target link subsystem is in model in the loop simulation mode. For a quick overview of the simulation results, target link blocks have an integrated data logging functionality. This means you do not have to modify the model, and you can use the block dialogs to specify if and how the output signal is logged during simulation. As a result, during the next simulation run, the target link plot overview window is displayed showing the simulation results of all the logged signals. A mill simulation can serve, for instance, as a reference for overflow detection and auto-scaling of fixed-point models, or as a reference for subsequent production code simulations for example, software in the loop simulation. In software in the loop simulation, the generated code of the controller model is compiled and simulated again on the host PC. With this simulation, you can analyze fixed point effects, such as quantization errors or saturations and overflows. To perform a software in the loop simulation, you first have to build a suitable simulation application. This is easily done in Target Link by double-clicking the SIL Mode button. The following steps are then executed automatically. The production code for the Target Link subsystem is generated, and the generated files are compiled and linked to a simulation application. The target link subsystem is then in software in the loop simulation mode. And when you simulate the model again, the generated code of the controller model is simulated instead of the Simulink blocks. In the target link plot overview window, the software in the loop simulation results are now plotted on top of each mill simulation result. Several helpful features are available. For example, you can quickly compare signals by dragging them from one subplot to another. For detailed signal analysis, you can open additional plot windows, showing, for example, details on deviations of the software in the loop simulation from the reference simulation, the numerical values of two compared signal amplitudes over time, and much more.